Spinal Fate channel, checking in. On today's episode of the Supplement Review, I have another pre-workout for you from Built by Strength. I have their unnamed pre-workout. On this series, I review a supplement every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard, hard, hard earned money. Today from Built by Strength, I have their unnamed pre-workout. So let's quickly talk about this company. Um, Strength.com is the website, Built by Strength is the name, and this is their pre-workout. It has no added hormones, no banned substances, NSF, certified sport compliant so if you're on a sports team if you're afraid of getting drug tested um, you don't have to worry about you know tainted supplements as we've seen in the news lately and this is also gluten free for any of you who are actually allergic to gluten okay so we're going to go over the ingredients the taste the mixability the cost and of course how it handles in the gym first and foremost um, one of the things uh, i want to say is if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe because my longtime subscribers will know I don't waste your time because your time is almost worth as much as my time. So I want to tell people before I even get into these ingredients, this isn't a high stimmed pre-workout. I have so many high stimmed junkie subscribers that I love, friends of mine, they're awesome. But if you are interested in a high stim pre-workout, you can leave this video right now. But before you do, hit that like button and leave a comment so that I know you were here. However, I want to talk about this product it's not a high stem pre-workout. It is a very good pre-workout for almost everyone out there, but it's not high stem. So many people, they, they fall into that hype that they need to get the high stem pre-workout and they're just wrecking their adrenal system. They're taking those high stem pre-workouts and pretty soon they're like rounded scoop, scoop and a half. Next thing you know, it's two scoops to even feel anything because their adrenal system is fraud. So um, one of the nice things about these, these starter pre-workouts is that um, if you're doing like a CrossFit, if you're doing HIIT training, if you're doing track work, you're not going to get like too amped up. You're going to get plenty of energy, and we're going to go over that. Plenty of energy. But you're not going to get so amped up that you can't really finish your workout, or um, you're going to get too much of a pump because you're doing like CrossFit or circuit training or HIIT training. Um, so that's one of the reasons that these starter pre-workouts are nice, because so many people... You know, you really don't need to be jumping right into the deep end. And so many of your workouts are actually going to be hindered by those high stem pre-workouts. So let's go over the ingredients. One packet, one bag, 30 servings, one serving, 17 grams uh, for vitamins, B6, B12. For minerals, stuff that you're sweating out during your workout, you want to have replaced. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, good stuff. Creatine monohydrate, 2 grams. I don't like to see pre-workouts put creatine in. Two reasons. Some people don't like it. Uh... The other reason is oftentimes they don't put enough creatine in. And the third reason, okay, I lied, three reasons, is that if people, it's such an inexpensive supplement, people can add it in on the side if they really wanted it. And L-citrulline, one gram, that's underdosed compared to what we typically see, but that's going to help you with your blood flow. We usually like to see four grams or higher. One gram is underdosed, but that's going to help move that blood around. Uh, L-tyrosine, I like that. That's for focus, one gram. Beta alanine, that's for strength endurance. So that is to help you kind of go longer in the gym. It's kind of block the signal that your body normally sends to you when you've got that lactic acid buildup in the muscle that tells you, hey, you got to slow down. That blocks the signal. One gram is underdosed. We like to see three to 3.2 grams. Uh, taurine, one gram, that's for pumps. I put it in the pump category. Some people put it in the performance category. I like to see that in there. Uh, dicalcium phosphate, 500 milligrams. Caffeine and hydrous. This is where you're getting your energy from. 175 milligrams. That's almost two cups of coffee. Now, in today's day and age, that's very low for caffeine. But so many people overdose their caffeine. 175 milligrams of caffeine should definitely be enough caffeine to get you up, get you to the gym, and get you motivated. Um, and we've, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but I've talked about it in plenty of others. People need to give their adrenal system a rest. Um, but, but regardless, 175 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, potassium chloride, 170 milligrams. Nitrazine for pumps, 100 milligrams. Grapeseed extract, 50 milligrams. And salvia uh, mitozema root, I'm pronouncing that wrong, also known as red sage, 10 milligrams. Um, so let's talk about flavors, taste, and cost. Then we'll talk about how it handles in the gym. Flavor, comes in one flavor, uh, fruit punch. It tastes just like a Gatorade fruit punch which for me is slightly boring, but for many of you, that's going to be a up upside for what your pre-workouts taste like. 
No issues with the taste. I just happen to think it's a boring flavor uh, because I've se we've seen so many crazy awesome flavors and some bad ones too. But Fruit Punch, think Gatorade Fruit Punch. In terms of mixability, mix is very easy, very good, very fine. In terms of cost, if you go over to strength.com, you use my code no, uh, NOFA247, get you 25% off. That brings it down to a dollar per serving. And that's that's a that's an okay price for a starter pre-workout. I'd like to see it be under a dollar per serving. Hey, I'd like to see it be free. But you're really not overpaying for a dollar per serving because today's day and age, there's very few uh, pre-workouts that come in at under a dollar per serving. So how did Built by Strength's pre-workout actually handle in the gym? And it's exactly what you would think. It is a starter pre-workout that's made for a very niche market, okay? So for me, I've taken so many pre-workouts, everything from really bad ones to great ones to extreme high energy, high stim, junky, off your mind ones, that this one just, it, it was okay. It was honestly like drinking two cups of coffee without any stomach discomfort um, before you went to the gym. It's like taking an energy drink before you go to the gym, but with no carbonation. Overall, I liked it. I've got no complaints about it, but it's certainly only made for the niche market. So who was built by strengths pre-workout really right for? Um, anyone that's looking to dip their toe in the pre-workout market, try to give themselves a little bit of an energy boost before their workouts. And I think really anyone who's into sports, if you're a college athlete and you're into sports and you wanna have a safe pre-workout to take before your meets, uh, before your track meets, wrestling, baseball, basketball, whatever, then I think this is a good one. Why do I think that? It's not gonna get your heart rate jacked up through the roof so that when the whistle blows, you're just, you're just gasping for air. You just get the shakes because your, your heart rate's too, too high. It's going to give you that right amount of energy to wake you up, get you amped up for the game, for the practice, but you're still going to be able to perform at the pace and at the intensity that you're typically able to perform at. Um, overall, I think it's good for those niche people that I just mentioned. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it to everybody. And at a dollar per serving, it's probably fairly priced because, again, it is NSF compliant. If you've come this far in the video and have any questions regarding Built by Strengths pre-workout, which can be found at strength.com, again, use that code NOFA247 to save 25% off. And as I always say with my coupon codes, if you can find a better coupon code, please use the best coupon code possible. Um, drop any comments or questions you have in the description below and I will do my best to answer them. Now, if you've come this far in the video and you haven't hit the like button by now, what are you waiting for? I mean, I put this video together, I edited it, I put a bumper, I'm going to put an ender, I'm going to even link future videos here and here and here. What are you waiting for? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, it doesn't cost you anything. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.